So this is what is for me the Dust Studio default launch date and I'm going to export this default figure so I'll just go to the file and export option and just save it. So it'll just give me some choices that I don't really understand so I'll just accept them and that's now saved. In Wings, Wings 3D, come on Wings. Okay I'm going to go to file and import and get that object that I've just saved. So I'm going to open that. It takes a few moments to open. It thinks about it. It does some things. It goes into this not responding stage, which uh, I think doesn't help when I'm running Camtasia Studio at the same time. I'm going to select this entire object. It's made of multiple components. Right click and combine them into one object. Right, it's done that now. I'm going to select the vertex mode. And if I use the A key I can center it on this view and I'm going to use right click and select bend and then I'm going to pick my midpoint which is going to be somewhere in the middle of the chest here and I use the vertex mode again to pick out this point here and right click to confirm that choice and now I need to pick top of the rod this figure is the rod so that's side top point right click to confirm and then I now need to pick my normal which is this um, midpoint again I'm going to use the vertex mode so select that and I've got the normal coming out then right click to confirm because there's so many points on this model it takes a bit of time on my computer to uh, give us a preview of what's going on so I'm just going to hit tab and enter 120 degrees as my choice I can now zoom back now that's done and you see what the model looks like a little bit odd a little bit deformed okay so I've now deformed that with the bend command I just need to go file and export obj overwrite the existing file yes I do now it does take a little while and you can see that uh, Camtasia Studio is causing a bit of confusion with the interface here but uh, just bear with me because the next thing I'm going to try and find we'll just minimize our studio for a second is my copy of UV Mapper Classic which is a little free program that I can use to change the UV map. As it happens it comes out of Dust Studio with the UV map but that UV map may not be that helpful for what I want to do particularly now I've combined them all into one object. So I just need to wait for this to finish exporting which I hope won't take too long so I'll find out where my file is. Okay so I've got this uh, file in my other window and I just need to find that wings finished okay so I can go to UV Mapper Classic and drag and drop that file in or you can go file and navigate to it and open it just depends whether you've got two monitors or not right I'm going to open that and you can see that this is the situation with the UV map at the moment but I'm going to edit it and give it a new UV map spherical mapped I'm going to change the axis to the X axis so that was the one in line with the figure's arms go OK so it's regenerated me a new uh, UV map go file and uh, save model and just go OK for those options and overwrite the existing one once again. And then having done that you're good to go and uh, render the image in whatever rendering software you fancy using. You've got your object and you've got your UV map so you sorted. OK then that's the end of the video. I'll put an example scene at the beginning so you can see what this looks like when it's been rendered in Bryce. OK then. Cheers now.